Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving 328 odd even linked list. Given the head of a singly linked list, group all nodes with odd indices together followed by all the nodes with even indices and return this reordered list. The first node is considered odd and the second node is considered even and so on. Note that the relative order inside the even and odd groups should remain as it was in the input. You must solve this problem in a big O of 1 extra space complexity and big O of n time complexity. <coughs> so let's look at an example where we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we want to reorder it. So obviously the first element is considered odd. So this is an odd, this is an odd, and this is an odd. And then the evens are here and here. Luckily, they're also even um, in the actual example, so it makes it easy to follow. So we want to link all of the odds together and maintain their order. So one should link to three, uh, which should link to five. And then we do the evens, and two needs to link to four. So we would have one to three to five, and then two uh, to four. So pretty straightforward. Now, how do we actually solve this question? Well, as you saw here, we're going to basically just do what we had in our example, right? So one to two, uh, to three, to four, to five, to six, right? So let's just use this as an example. So obviously the first odd one is here. So we're gonna have a pointer at the odd value and we know that the next one is even, right? So what we do is we're basically just gonna loop through the entirety of our linked list and we're gonna say, okay, we have two pointers for the odd and the even and the odd, we don't care about this even anymore. So we want it to go to whatever the next value is in the list, which is the even one, but we wanna skip it because we wanna go to the next odd. So we can rewrite as one, three, and now the odd pointer will be here, right? And then for the even, we can do the same, right? We don't care about the next value because that one's odd. We wanna go to the next one, to this four. So that means that our even is now what? Uh, let me move this down actually. Give some more space here, okay. So now our even is two to four. And this is the new even pointer. Uh, oops, okay, let's just do even, okay. So now we can continue um, and our odd pointer is now here. So let's now do the same thing. So we're gonna skip here, skip here. And now the next one is five. And we're gonna do the same thing with even. We're gonna move the even, we're gonna skip the next one because that's always gonna be odd and go to the next one. And that's going to be six. So we have two, four, six. And now the odd is actually where? The odd is now at the five. But as you can see, there's actually nothing left, so we're done there. And same with the six, there's nothing left for us to do. But now we have these two kind of disjoint um, linked lists, right? We have this, which is contained in our odd pointer, and we have this, which is contained in our even pointer. And what we actually need to do is just link the uh, five here to the two, and that way we'll get one to three to five to six, uh, sorry, to, uh, to two, to four, uh, to six. So that's essentially the algorithm, right? We're gonna have our odd pointer, we're going to skip two nodes um, to basically link the next node of the odd to be the next odd one. We're gonna do the same thing for the even and basically continue this until we have nodes left to process. Uh, and then at the end, all we need to do is just link the end of our odd list to the start of the even list, and that is our final solution. And we will have done this all in place, and obviously with a big O of N runtime, because we just need to process each node once. Okay, so let's actually code this up, relatively straightforward, luckily. So I will see you in the code editor. Okay, we are in the code editor, let's type this up. I'm gonna get rid of this extra junk here, because we don't need it. The first thing we need to do is, if the head is actually null, then there's nothing for us to do, then we can't sort it. So we're gonna say, if not uh, head, then we're going to return none. Okay, now we need some pointers to basically help us actually iterate through the list. So we know that the first element in our head 
is going to equal to the first odd one. So we're going to say the odd pointer is equal to head because the first head, um, the head is just the, the, the first odd. And we know that the even, the head of the even linked list that we're creating um, is equal, we're going to use it as the, sorry, the next even, the even head is equal to the pointer for our even, which is going to equal to head dot next, which makes sense because the next element um, in the head is basically the, the even one if the first one is the odd one. Now, as we want to proceed through our linked list, we basically just want to traverse through all the elements. So we're going to say while even, um, while even, it basically exists, and we have a next value for that, uh, we need to process uh, the list. And the reason we only care about even is because odd will always come before even. So we only really want to care about the even, right? Because the odd will always be in front of it. So even is actually the one that's pointing at the end of the list. So remember what we want to do is we want to take the current odd pointer and its next is now going to equal to the current odd, the next value, that value's next value. So basically, right, the next value of odd is always going to be even, but the value after that is going to be the next odd one, which is why we want to make sure that even exists and also even.next, because even.next is technically this odd.next. Uh, so as long as this exists, we can call here, because if we didn't have this and, then we could potentially be calling uh, dot next on a null node and we'd have an issue. So we need to make sure that even uh, and even dot next exists so we can actually do this. Now, once we've set the next odd value, we need to just move the pointer up. So the new odd becomes odd dot next, which is now what was previously before odd dot next dot next. So we've now moved it up. We need to do the same thing for the evens. So we're going to say the next even value is going to equal to even dot next dot next pretty straightforward. And then we just need to move the even up uh, forward, right? So we're going to say um, equals even dot next, right? Okay, cool. So that uh, moves up the even and we're good to go. So basically, this loop is going to run. Um, and we're good there. So now what we want to do is we simply want to connect the odd um, the tail of the odds with the head of the evens, right? So we're going to say odd.next uh, is going to equal to the even head, which we defined earlier. So this is going to be the head of the evens. And we simply link them to basically put all of the evens at the end of the odds. And then all we need to do at this point is just return the head. It hasn't changed. Uh, and remember, head is just that first odd value. So when we run this, we can see that it looks good and we can be accepted. Perfect. So as I said before, and as the problem stipulated, we needed to do this in big O of n, which we have achieved because we're just touching basically all of the elements in our list once. And we're just traversing through the linked list one time. So this is just going to be big O of n, uh, where n is the number of items in the linked list. And as for the space complexity, as you can see, we haven't defined any extra variables. We just have some pointers to store, <clears throat> you know, pointers to where we are. Uh, but these are just pointing to list nodes. We're not copying the list in any way. Um, so this is just going to be big O of one. So that is how you solve odd even linked list. Pretty straightforward question. Nice little one to get you warmed up with uh, working with linked lists. And yeah, that's how you solve it. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, why not leave a like and a comment, subscribe to the channel to help me grow, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.